This is the Osborne Cup, a USCA-sanctioned American Rules Croquet Tournament held every September in Central Park and put on by the New York Croquet Club. Tournament director is Tim Rapuano. And your tournament manager is Peter Timmons, who's also the president of the New York Croquet Club. This is a first flight doubles match with Bob Gannon running there after the blue ball at a handicap of seven from the Buffalo Croquet Club, joining up with Cecily Greenaway playing blue at a handicap of 11, who plays at the Edgartown Croquet Club in Martha's Vineyard. They're taking on two 10 handicappers, Kathleen Green standing back by the hedge, who plays at the Sandwich Croquet Club on the Cape, and Ezra Roth playing red, who's a member of the New York Croquet Club. They're on court three in Central Park. Black's going to be south of blue, so blue won't have a rush to any balls in corner two, which probably makes it okay for yellow to come in. Certainly an option to consider would have been to keep yellow out at this point. Joining up like this at the hoop that they're all for can be a little dangerous for both teams. <laughs> Russ requested that I do more first flight games because he says there's more teachable moments. I was hoping she was going to attack. And the first real opportunity. That Dennis board is standard, except it adds clip position, as you can see. Is she going to run the break herself or do the leave and hand it over to her lower handicap partner? Down. <laughs> 
because we have two croquet courts on each lawn bowling pitch. They're only about 56 feet wide, so shots across the lawn like that have to be toned down a little bit. Because her hoop three pioneer is so indifferent, might be best to get rid of red and just go to black, leaving yellow as a pioneer for black now. Sharif suggested if you want to practice single ball shots, always work on your rushes. That's what separates the big boys from the rest of us. The AC players in the group might send yellow to black and then park blue behind three, wired from red but rushable to two, just like in a sextuple leave. As you can see, the grass struggles in Central Park because you can't cut down a tree without an act of Congress. Wisely not setting up at Black's Hoop. Looks out from here. That's Paul Newbecker, who's your videographer, being called to adjudicate. Between Paul and Brian Hovis, I have enough videos to edit to last me all winter. By the time I'm done, they will have contributed fully a third of the videos up on this YouTube channel. That's Mark Ski making the ruling. I almost didn't recognize him because the last time he appeared on this channel in 2017, Playing Jane Helms, he didn't have that mustache. Do you mind if I put my um, jacket? So you got Trimmer to make you that? That's it. There's no more other one. This is it, he said. Ugh. This is the last I one. I wanted one like that forever. But... Well, I know. When I first tried, he was trying to sell me something else. And I was like, yeah, this is what I want. 
Nice rush. This is my first time watching Kathleen play. With that swing, I don't think she's going to be at a 10 handicap very long. Blue's sitting right there, but since Blue's opponent did, she can get away with that. Red has a rush to its hoop, too, so that was a good choice. Black is clean and for hoop two, but that boundary is treacherous. So he's not going to shoot at red. And red's position now keeps blue, which is three ball dead, from setting up at three. Good play. set up from a long way away. I hate to sound like a broken record, but if you're going to practice single ball shots, practice rushes, not 15-yard real Ks.
a lot of his hoop shots are jump shots like that. I don't know if it's on purpose. The hoop is a little wider, higher up, of course. But you lose some consistency doing that, and it's difficult to control how far past the hoop the striker ball goes. So red and yellow are up by two, and in pretty much in control as long as blue stays three ball dead. Black's going to have to attack to break this up. A red and yellow can just play the Palm Beach two-step all the way around the lawn. Make a hoop, get back to partner. Make a hoop, get back to partner. And that, of course, is the other way that blue and black get back in the game. Because of deadness, there's no good attack opportunity for red here. And unless black picks up blue after hoop two, yellow will have time to get out of dodge too. Blue passes. The only reason for that is that blue was too close to black to give black a rush to hoop three, so they had to wait a turn for black to get out of the way so she could do that. And because they're being given time, red and yellow were patient to wait for a really good rush to his hoop. Got a fire burner. Yeah, we do. Nobody even saw that I did it, but I had a beam on it. I think it's my black ball that was looking for rush. Oh. So if you're making a video. The standard play would have been to put yellow just on the other side of that hoop so you had a good rush coming out of four. Still he does. I just shoot the tape. Would have been a two foot rush rather than a fourteen plus foot roquet. I just sent him he's got a big backlog of videos I sent him to get through and upload. But he wasn't worried about the longish roquet. 17 Osborne Cup. I, I think that was the first one I played in. Might have been 10 playing with somebody in that sport. I can't remember. No, oh, looks like it got through but rolled back. 
should black attack now or make his hoop first? Depends on what kind of rush he gets. Blue's three ball dead, so we can't set a leave for blue. And because blue's three ball dead, those two balls at five will both be able to escape to safety if he doesn't make this hoop now. And if he attacks now, he could end up six ball dead, so it's not obvious. Jumpy over there. <laughs> They're off the hook, so yellow can set a pioneer at six for red. What's that? Blue going to pioneer position at hoop four. Sometimes in those videos good. that I watch, I think, what fool standing in front of the picture? <laughs> I don't know. Or it's just me. <laughs> well, that's all right. Cut you're you you're in the game. I don't I don't like telling people to get out of the way unless they're no, just no, no. spectators. <laughs> if they're spectators, they'll be like, oh, this kid. But if you're in the game, you're in the game. Black is in the jaws of its hoop three, dead on partner, and blue is down by hoop four, three ball dead. And red and yellow are up by four. If it were blue stuck in hoop three, this attack would be obvious. Since it's black, and because blue has no easy way to get clean, it Another alternative would have been to just put red on the north boundary and promote yellow, keeping blue three ball dead. He's down by four. Let's see how many he can make up. One more break. You go, you got your break, buddy.
Pass roll, actually, and a nice one at that. Ah, looking, looking good. And now the break is set up. That says it all. He broke down in a four ball break, but he did make up three of the four hoops he needed to tie, and he ended up with black clean. Not all bad. I think she was trying to get to black, but she bounced off the ground, hit a beveled edge, and only went halfway. Beveled edge is not a fault in an unhampered single ball shot. And for that matter, court damage inexplicably is not a fault in American rules, unlike AC and golf croquet. I can't tell whether they're considering rocaining blue and sending it to yellow because yellow's only dead on red. Black is for six, whether he was trying to hit blue or not, I'm not sure. David, 
a big shot. He gets one of those. Anyway, sorry about that. I, I appreciate it. Uh, you wanted to talk to me about your business. Yeah. Doc. Yeah. So, uh, and I got your follow up email, and I was about to reply to it, and then I got the notification from USA that you had paid my USA dues on my behalf. Yeah. 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 I was just going down the list. I was like, who's dropping? Who's not sure? You weren't sure. Nice pass roll again, except he wanted blue and hoop shooting position. On my behalf. So normally I would just say, okay, um, but we need you a fourth year. We need you to be fourth. So I think for this year we're fine, but I think if next year it's like you've got a better. Yeah. You got, no, no, no. But I'll be locker. here next year. So yeah. yeah, so I would say, do you have a locker in there by any means? Hold the locks. Do you, you want to just settle on with with us? That will cover your USCA. Um, it will put you in the union contract, just like some social money. But I don't want someone to look at the list and say, oh, why did Paul have five and you have three? And, you know. Yeah, it's fine. And, you know, this was 100 points and you're off over it. But it's yeah. Not over. Um, it's all good. And then next year, yeah. And then I, next year you can come back. I didn't see him look to see if yellow was wired from blue. Okay. So, that's fine. I mean, it's. Not did, deal if you don't, but did my other one not go through? Well, it came through, but they take out. I'm pretty sure he meant to wire black from yellow. Probably not a friends and family option. Score is tied, but she now has pioneers at three and four. So I just won't do my dues over credit card. I was putting the tournament on that. Like I said, something to be just be aware of. I'm, it's not a big deal. But I just kind of, when people do it, and I know them, I try to make sure that it's just like, yep. if you forget, you forget. Like, no one's beating you either. Yep. <laughs> BG. Oh, I'm sorry. All good. <laughs> oh. Lovely swing. Needs a little aim work. Score is tied. I don't think black has a hoop shot over at one back, and red is down by hoop four. This to keep black from setting up at one bag. Oops, yellow went a little too far. Had she gotten the block, then red could have set up for one bang.
Good hoop. Good job. Now. She might have been better off to shoot hard through the hoop, hit yellow, send it away, and keep it three ball dead. Because this way, if yellow plays it right, she only gets one turn out of it. And black can't use that one turn to set up in front of its hoop because red is still live on black. Somebody's not looking at the deadness board. Well, I got it. Well, that's that's why you don't have blue go back to black. <laughs> what color am I? All right. When did you get bit on yellow? Uh, over here, right here. Oh, that's humble. Yellow is three ball dead. Red is dead on yellow. She could have considered putting yellow a ball diameter off the approach line to the hoop after she called first block which would force blue to leave, and then yellow gets clean on her next turn. All right, you whack it all the way down there, and I'll come to you. That decision by yellow and red might have just lost them the game. All right. That could be expensive if blue gets going. Next year, she'll be sending black to six and getting behind yellow to make five and get her break going, especially because red is sitting up there at one bag. Looks like Blue's shot on black is probably hampered. But even if not, this might make sense because they're ahead by three, and she might have had trouble continuing that break. We'll assume they use the one back clearance for black.
blue is clean and for hoop six. Blue and black are ahead by one now, and I think blue may end up being first and last, at least by the end of its turn. Would have been easy to move red and play for the rush on yellow at the same time. Looks like she's aiming to put yellow a long way away. But since it's three ball dead, all she really wants to do is keep red from using it as a pioneer. So she could have just left it there, which she ended up doing anyway. But since yellow's three ball, she won't be able to get a wiring lift out of that. And it looks like red is wired from yellow, so she has to make sure that red has a shot on something that doesn't involve a hampered backswing. If he makes this, he has yellow as his pioneer. And it's over. Lovely game, lots of interactivity. Players on their way up will be missing fewer hoops and making better decisions by the next time they appear on this YouTube channel. So it's Bob Gannon and Cecily Greenaway over Kathleen Green and Ezra Roth, 11 to 10 in the Osborne Cup on the storied Central Park croquet lawns.